All right, as we continue along, we're now talking about the slippery slope. It's one of my favorites. And essentially, slippery slope sometimes uses a legitimate argument. But a slippery slope basically is where you say, if you do one thing, many more other causal steps will necessarily occur. Meaning, there's no choice. They will occur. And the bad final result will occur. You know, now the idea here is that the problem with a slippery slope is the idea is you know, you're walking along and you get on a slope that's slippery. Anybody who's ever been walking on a on a hill if it rain that's a little bit slippery or muddy, step on it and then falling over and start sliding down the hill. And that's what a slippery slope is. Is you take one step out, you hit it, and you slide down to the bottom. And the idea here is is, you know, a slippery slope is that if you do one thing, all the others will occur. So don't do it because you don't want to fall down and be at the bottom of the hill. But the problem is, is that oftentimes what happens is within life is, you know, if you're on a hill or you're on these things, there's multiple steps in the middle. And it's not like a slippery slope, it's more like a staircase. And you can take a couple steps down a staircase and still be quite capable of turning around and walking back up to the top. Um, you know, that just because you do one or two things doesn't mean that momentum builds and you can't stop anything. You know, you skip the once, you're going to fail because you're going to start skipping all the time. Well, you know, you skip once, you could just stop skipping after that. Um, you take one drink of alcohol, next thing you know, you're going to get drunk all the time, you're going to start using drugs, you're going to lose your job, you're going to have to prostitute yourself to buy more drugs, and you're eventually going to drive an overdose as a drug addict. Um, so don't do drugs, or don't don't drink alcohol. Well, I want to I want to say that there is truth to the fact that with addiction, sometimes people have one drink, it triggers the right parts of the brain, and they aren't able to stop. But in most people, you could have a few drinks, and you can stop. It doesn't mean that you're going to progress down this slippery slope. Um, you may it may definitely be the case that you're not going to wake up one morning and decide to go out and prostitute yourself to buy drugs and overdose without ever having had a drink or smoked a cigarette or not done um, another drug. You know, that's probably going to happen. But the fact is, is that just because things tend to happen in a certain order doesn't mean that you're unable to stop once you start in that progression. Um, you know, and you know, it's sort of, as I said, drugs can be a little bit different, but the case is, it's like, you know, you have things like people say, well, you know, if we open up a Walmart in Urbana, next thing you know, there's going to be 20 other businesses and Urbana is going to quit being a nice, peaceful little community. And, well, you know, it is true that you're probably not going to develop 83 businesses without first opening up one, but it doesn't mean that if you open up a couple businesses that you're going to open up the floodgates and be unable to stop anything. And that's what a slippery slope is. And finally, weak analogy. Weak analogy, and an analogy is where you say two things are similar, and so what's true of one must be true of the other. So, you know, this usually works if you say, you know, both are good students, both have passed math every semester, both have had a good semester, therefore, Bill is getting an A, Sue is probably getting an A too. But a weak analogy is where the analog, or what's similar between the two, is weak. You know, John wore red, he's a good student, Sarah's also a good student, so she must be going to wear red. Being a good student doesn't translate to being able to say what one hears is true of the other. Um, electricity flows through wires similar to water flowing through pipes. Since water flows faster downhill, electricity will too. Okay? Now, you know, this statement here, if you, if you said, you know, the size of a pipe, a bigger pipe allows more water to flow through it, so a bigger wire will allow more electricity to flow through it, that would actually be true, and that analogy works. But the need to go downhill doesn't matter with electricity. And so the weakness in the analogy is the idea that it's not really a good analog, because electricity isn't doesn't travel through pipes based upon gravity. Water does. So that's why a weak analogy is the thing that makes them similar. It doesn't really hold for some reason, or it's not enough to make an analogy. Right. Thank you.